Astronomy and astrology may seem to be completely different terms, but for their evolution, it seems that they have pretty interesting history. Now, if I were to give you a choice for choosing between astrology and astronomy, what do you believe in? Let's see what the university students think about astronomy and astrology. And astrology is in... I don't know. I've heard astrology but not astronomy. Astrology is like horoscopes. Astronomy is the study of the space. Uh, astronomy is basically the study of uh, uh, universe uh, and uh, the things uh, present in the universe. Uh, astrology uh, is all about okay, everything that is beyond this earth. The the horizon of this earth. That everything that is beyond that. That is the study of astronomy. We see the like stars and other things. All in all comes in astro. Is sort of uh, what do you call it? A spirituality. Astronomy, uh, astronomy, space. I think astronomy. I guess uh, I actually have a confusion between astronomy and astrology. What is the difference? The difference is, yaro uh, uh, Astrology is the study of the movements and the relative positions of the celestial objects in order for divining the information between the human affairs and the terrestrial events. Now, astrology was considered to be a major scholar tradition throughout most of the human history and it has been mentioned in the famous literary works from Geoffrey Chaucer to William Shakespeare. While astronomy is a natural science that studies the celestial objects and their evolution, now, it applies different branches of science to study and explain their phenomena, evolution, and their origin. Objects of interest include planets, moons, stars, galaxies, and comets, while the phenomena includes supernova explosions, gamma ray bursts, and cosmic background radiation. More generally, all of the phenomena originate outside Earth are within the purview of astronomy. In general, astronomy is a much wider term when it comes to objects in space than astrology which kind of limits itself to the solar system. Let's first look at what people believe in. And if so, why? Uh, what do you believe in? Astronomy or astrology? Um, I kind of believe in both. Both? Yeah, like sometimes I do. Like, I, I don't believe that exactly what they're saying is going to happen in my life. But like generally, sometimes like just for entertainment you read it to like have a bit of faith in life. But do you believe in horoscopes? Yeah, sure, I believe in them. But I can't, uh, never trust in these horoscopes. I don't know, you know, since it is an ancient art and many a times there are many people who had, you know, produced such a brilliant result on this aspect. So it is, you know, very difficult to get, uh, not consider it while going for the modern advancement. I guess they don't exactly can tell about the future because they are not gods. So, but they can give us a, an idea about that. What do you believe in? I do believe in astrology. Uh, do you believe in astrology? No. Astronomy and astrology are the roots of the same tree which grew upon the curiosity of ancient people to understand cosmos. Astrology, in broader sense, is the search for human meaning in the sky. It seeks to understand the general and the specific human behavior through the influence of planets and other celestial objects. Early evidences of such practices appear as markings on bones and cave walls which shows that lunar cycles which were being noted as early as 25,000 years ago. Early cultures identified the celestial objects as gods and spirits. Now they related these objects to such as seasons, troughs, rains and tides. It is generally believed that the first astronomers were the priests and they understood celestial objects and events to be the manifestation of the divine. I mean, think about it. The people didn't really know what space was. So all they were trying to do is, well, they were trying to study what was the relation, how was space affecting their lives. And they did a pretty good job. They came up with a lunar calendar. And, and with different dates on the lunar calendar, they were seeing, they were observing the changes in the seasons. And for them, it was affecting their lives. And this is when the astrology came in. It was to study this connection between the humans and the celestial bodies. Astronomy and astrology were pretty much the same for a lot of time, but they did split up. And the split wasn't a quick one. Astronomy and astrology diverged over the course of 17th and the 19th century. Copernicus didn't practice astrology. He came up with the heliocentric theory and it kind of questioned the basic understanding of astrology. And his work was theoretical. But the most important astronomers before Isaac Newton were astrologers by profession, like Tycho Brahe, 
Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei. By the end of 18th century, astronomy was one of the major sciences of the Enlightenment model, using recently codified scientific method and was altogether distinct from astrology. Well, it seems that astrology shouldn't have survived this long, considering the advancement in science. But it did. And it all happened because of this. You believe that uh, someone can tell your future? I don't. It's more of a habit than more of uh, less belief, more habit. Astrology gained its major consumer popularity in 20th century because of the mass media communication such as daily horoscopes in newspapers. I would love to know what you guys think about astronomy and astrology. And finally guys, thanks for watching.